In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of the mathematical language and symbols and how to translate the mathematical language to symbols. What is language? Language is a systematic way of communicating with other people with the use of the sounds and conventional symbols. The language of mathematics uses symbols to communicate mathematical ideas. The symbolic language of mathematics is a distinct, special-purpose language. It has its own symbols and rules that are rather different from spoken language. Mathematics uses symbols instead of words. Now, what are the importance of language? Language was invented to communicate ideas to others. Language serves as fundamental tool for communicating ideas and this concept can be closely linked to mathematics which is often referred to as a universal language. Mathematics, like language, was developed as a system to express ideas, describe the world, and solve problems. Mathematics was designed so we can write numbers, write sets, and write these numbers into functions. And also, we can represent or perform operations or the four fundamental operations, the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, and the division. Now, let us try to identify what are the symbols that are commonly used in mathematics. So, first, we have the 10 digits. So, the 10 digits are the numbers 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and uh, 9. The next one is the operations or the, the operations. So we have the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, and the division. The third one, the symbols that are commonly used are the sets. We have there the intersection, the union, the subset, and the superset. Next are the variables. So we can represent variables as any letter of the alphabet. But the commonly used variables are the X and the Y. Next are the special symbols. We have the equals, the less than, the greater than, less than or equal to, the greater than or equal to, the pi, and a lot more. Next are the logical symbols. So first is the symbol for negation or the not. Next is the symbol for conjunction, the disjunction, the if-then statement, and the symbol for if and only if. Next are the set notation. So we have here the capital N stands for the natural numbers. The capital W, we have the whole numbers. The Z for integers. Q for rational number. R for real number. And the C for complex numbers. To explain further the set of the numbers, we have here first the N or the capital N. So this symbol represents the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is usually starts with 1. And all the positive or the, yes, all the positive whole numbers. Next is the capital W or the set of whole numbers. Now, if n is the set of natural numbers and these are all the positive integers, the whole number or the set of whole number are or will start from 0 and all the positive integers. Z is the set of integers. This is usually the positive, the negative, and the 0. The Q, the rational numbers. Rational numbers, these are the, the fractions and the decimals. And then the Q prime, that is the Q prime. Q prime is the set of irrational numbers. For example, the non-terminating or the non-repeating decimals. For example, the patterns that you can see in decimal. For example, the tooth point two three two three and so on. The next is the capital R or the set of real numbers. So when we say the set of real numbers, um, this includes all of the numbers that we can uh, think of. The natural numbers, the set of whole numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, the rational numbers. And lastly, the capital C or the set of complex numbers. So usually these are the negative radical or all the negative um, radical numbers. 
Now, these are the common symbols that uh, we will be using as we are going to translate mathematical sentence or language into symbols. You should be familiar with this one, with these symbols, because uh, you will encounter this one as we go along with this course. Again, you should uh, familiarize this one. Now, what are the characteristics of the mathematical language? So first, it should be precise, meaning you were able to create or you were able to make a fine distinction or it should be um, clear and concrete. Concise, meaning um, you were able to make it as brief as possible, meaning it's just short but everything is already there and there is no need for you to elaborate it more further. And lastly, it should be powerful, meaning you were able to express um, your thoughts with ease. Now, bear in mind that sometimes language in mathematics and language in English are sometimes um, contradicting. Because there are some words in English that um, when used in mathematics have different meaning. For example, in mathematics, the word is could mean equality or inequality or a member in a set. Another thing is the different use of a number like the cardinal, ordinal, nominal, and ratio. Mathematical objects may be represented in many ways such as the sets and the functions. The words and and or may be used differently in mathematics compared to English. And the word there are is still so many words in English language that, that, that is used equality, differently in equal, mathematics. So we are going to talk about that set. one. We are going to discuss all about that one in the next video. Um, we are going to translate now uh, mathematical sentences into mathematical symbols. In the next one, we will be using the symbols in translating mathematical sentences.